fittest on earth and started back in February in Madrid, Spain. It's going to end inside the Alliant Energy Center in Madison, Wisconsin. One final test remains here at the 2023 Noble CrossFit Games. Thank you so much for being with us, everybody, as we close out the final day of competition here. I'm Sean Woodland with Chase Ingram. Mike Arsenal is down on the competition floor. Test number 12, Echo Thruster. Oh, we're getting, we're getting leggy. We're getting leggy today, Sean. 21, 18, 15 cows on the Echo Bike and Thrusters. Every round, those weights are gonna, gonna increase. 115 to 155, and it's a finale here at the CrossFit Games. Having an overhead walk and lunge at the finish line. Recipe for success is delivered by Trifecta. Time to get primal. There's nothing sexy here. There's nothing tricky. This is thrusters, echo bikes, and lunges. And if you want to win this test, if you want to win the CrossFit Games, you got to prove you want it more than everybody else. Let's bring in the third member of our broadcast crew, Mike Arsenault. Thank you very much, Sean. After that final thruster at 155 pounds, these athletes will get it overhead, then lunge all the way to the finish. 66 total feet to glory. We'll see who comes out on top here in test number 12. 10 men on the floor for this first of two heats. And two men fighting for the honor of being named Rookie of the Year are right in the middle. It's Bailey Martin and Yellow Hosa. The two of them have been extremely impressive here. They have Yellow Hosa with an event win already. But I'll tell you what, Yellow Hosa had his time in the sun at semifinals there. The sun, yeah, but Bailey Martin coming out of it. This Oceania region just having a great performance all weekend long. There is Bailey Martin on the left, Yellow Hosa. On the right, Hosta in 12th place overall. Bailey Martin 11th place overall. They're separated by only nine points. We are underway. 21 calories on the Echo Bike to start things off. What a nasty combo, Sean. Echo Bike with thrusters, with lunges. Good thing is they don't have to pull anymore. So we're gonna get some squatting and pressing done. And the unique part about the Echo Bike is that it's legs and arms. It's not just the legs when it comes to the Echo Bike. And the same thing for the thruster. Full squat and press overhead. Now what you can do as an athlete is that you can kind of shift which muscle group you're gonna lean on more. Echo Bike, it's leg driven. You gotta lean on that more, but the arms can help. Vice versa on the thruster. That overhead press, you can not squat as hard and really focus on a stronger press and just kind of have that balance of muscle groups as you work between the two. The yellow host uh, is to take a look at Justin Medeiros. And we'll see his two-year reign as the fittest man on earth and hosts onto the thrusters. Oldest Lubinix as well. I'm waiting for Colton Mertens to get off the bike because this is kind of a tale of two athletes as well. The bigger, stronger athletes are going to move well on the bike. The shorter, compact, more powerful athletes, like the Bailey Martin you see on the left in the white shorts and blue shirt, and Colton Mertens, who might have the fastest squats and presses than anybody else in the field. 42 rep mark will signify the end of this round, that it's forward to the... Echo Bike. Get your official 2023 Noble CrossFit Games gear and score a bonus gift for purchase. Scan the QR code to redeem and view terms and conditions. Center part of your lane, Yellow Hosta and Bailey Martin, the two athletes we were just talking about, have both taken a break in this first round of 21. Now San Juan and Lourdes Utnings will be the first men to be 15 power ride on the bike, followed by Justin Medeiros and Noah Olsen. Here comes Yellow Hosta. Now Bailey Martin is there. Colton Mertens at the far end of the floor also on yep. the bike. Up in lane two. Mertens was the last off the bike, third out of the thrusters. And what we've seen Mertens do all weekend, the last two years he's been at the games, he's been cut early, has not been able to advance, making the final cut of 20 and making the most of it. This guy is a fan favorite. And again, as the weight gets heavier, the reps aren't dropping that much relative to the weight. We're making 20 pound jumps, but only three rep drops. Look for Mertens to gain, lose less ground on the Echo Bike and gain ground more on the thrusters. 18 calories here on the bike. At the 60 rep mark is when the athletes will advance. Sam Juan is your leader. He's in the middle of your screen now getting off the bike. Villa Hosa is on the left. He's now done. And Ulga Zutnik is about finished as well. Sam Juan, first man to get to work. One thing, set of 18 thrusters. Another thing here, Sean, is that these are the, the short bars. These are those C70 bars that Rogue pulled out to get all bars on the floor. The weight now bumping up to 135 pounds. The reps dropping to 18. 
61 kilos on that barbell. Is now Colton Mertens is onto the thrusters. He's in sixth place right now in the heat. And Mertens just picked up the bar. As you said, he's about three or five reps in. One, every athlete who's already gotten the bar has already broken one time. Now Mertens has climbed up to third. <laughs> Here it is, Jackhammer Mertens. Let's go. And that's the first break from Colton Mertens. Sam Clyde. Back to the bike now. 15 calories, trying to get to the 93 rep mark. And then it's the final set of flushes and the overhead lunge. Down the floor with a 155 pound barbell held overhead. Justin Medeiros has now moved into second place in the blue shorts. And this is what Justin traditionally does over his years of dominance of back-to-back -back CrossFit Games championships. is slow to start, strong to finish. Well, this is on the bike. Along with Colton Burns, and here comes no one else. If you look at the pace on the bike, Sean, 15 cows on the bike, it's not about the bike. These athletes are telling us exactly what is the crux of this test, and that is these barbell thrusters. Sam Quan, that was five calories, four calories now remaining for Sam Quan, the man closest to the camera. Quan coming in at 18th place overall with 467 points. 15 thrusters at 155 pounds to finish this off, but it doesn't mean it's over because not only are we doing 15 thrusters at the heaviest weight so far after everything they do to get here, now you have to finish with a 66-foot overhead walking lunge to the finish line. Quad's best finish in this competition was second in test five. That was ski bag. Back on day number two. And if you look at ski bag, a couplet between a skier and squat to the heavy sandbag plays very similar to this one. The yellow Hosta has now moved into second place. He's lying for the title of Rookie of the Year along with Bailey Martin, the man on the left in a blue shirt and white shorts still on the bike. Also sudden takes some breaks. Juan is taking a couple as well. And we've seen a lot of things happen over the years when we end with an overhead lunge, and it's not necessarily who gets to the lunge first, but how do they get there in the process? What do they tax too much to be able to hold that bar overhead for all 66 feet? Colton Mertens has now moved on to the barbell. Here comes Bailey Martin. So 108 is the number they need to hit. Juan with one more thruster. And he's just going to keep that thing held overhead. Now he's going to lunge down the floor. That was a great savvy move by Sam Quant, the veteran. He broke at 14, so that instead of doing a clean and jerk, which doesn't count for anything, I'll just do one thruster and then work my way across the floor. There are 11 total reps that are credited here for this lunge. And Sam Quant is way out in front. He's the only man lunging his way down the floor. Now here comes Justin Medeiros. Breaks the court. Now if he breaks within the section, he has to move back to the previous section that they completed. Now here comes Justin Medeiros. We've seen him track people down here. Now Colt Mertens and Yellow Hosa are on to the lunge. Hosta is dead even with Mertens right now for third place. Justin Medeiros in the blue short sits in second, and Sam Clark Looking to take the heat. And Quan is in. And here comes Justin Medeiros. And the two-time champ is across. He will take second in the heat. Seven minutes, point zero one seconds. Now, Yellow Hosta. Looking to finish in third place, and he's got some people between himself and Bailey Markway. Host is in. And Noah Olsen making his 10th straight appearance here at the CrossFit Games. Looking to close out what he says will be his final time here as an individual. Looking to possibly go team next year. And Noah Olsen is done. Here comes Colton Mertens. Spencer Panchik, followed by Bailey Martin, Will Morad, and Nick Matthew, along with Uldis Utniks of the final three men out on the floor. 
as Bailey Martin tumbles over the finish line. Hugging the fans, from the spirit of the game. Yeah. Nick Matthews is going to be the next man to finish up, but he's in a dead even race just about with Will Morad in the blue shorts, about a step ahead of Morad. Nick Matthews pulls it out his 2023. Yes. As does Will Morad. He's the oldest Luke Gates, who was towards the front early in this test. That will be the last man to finish. We'll close out heat number one of Echo Thruster for the man. But it's Sam Clark, the only man to go sub seven, six minutes, 48.70 seconds to set the time to beat. Heading into the second and final heat. Took the lead early after the round of 21. Strategic breaks on the 18 and 15. Steady on the bike to save a little bit for the thrusters, but that savvy move at the very end leaving one thruster before he went into that last lunge is something athletes will take note of when they're getting into the second and final heat. And once he got going, it's like one break in the middle, but no one near enough to catch him at the end. Noah Olsen is gonna take fourth place in that heat with a time of 733.93 seconds. And Noah Olsen is down on the competition floor with Mike Arsenal. Noah. 10 consecutive CrossFit Games appearances. You've been a part of this community for over a decade, but a decade at the CrossFit Games, the culmination of your individual career. What has the last 10 years meant to you? Everything. You guys, this sport has changed my life completely, and it will have changed it forever. I'm so grateful to all of you, to all these people in the front row. That's my family, my best friends, beautiful wife. It's it's awesome. Before I took the floor just now, waiting in the tunnel, I just, my heart felt so, so full of gratitude for all of this journey. Thank you guys. Now you've been a part of this community for a long time. This is not the last the CrossFit community will see of you. This is the end of the individual chapter of your career. But what is next as we look forward to 2024? This isn't the end of the book, just the end of a chapter. I'm going to be transitioning into the next chapter, which hopefully we'll be out here competing on a team going for a gold medal in that division. We can't wait to see it. Congratulations on closing this chapter, Noah. We can't, see, we can't wait to see what you write in the future. Thank you all again one more time. I love you guys so much. Men's first heat is done as Noah Olsen heads over to his family. I think the, the question comes up is like, you know, who Noah Olsen really is? That's who Noah Olsen really is. He's the same person on the floor as he is off the floor, and it's been an honor to watch this kid compete for the last decade. Well said. We've had 11 grueling tests over the last four days. The athletes of the 2023 Noble Cross of Games are tired and beat up, but now they are finally at the finish line. We are ready to crown the fittest man on earth, and it could be one of these four. Brett Fikowski, Pat Fellner, Roman Krennikov, and Jeffrey Adler all start the day in contention here. One heat remains for the men in Test 12 inside the Coliseum at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison, Wisconsin. Thanks for being with us, everybody. I'm Sean Woodland with Chase Ingram. Mike Arsenault is down on the competition floor. Overall standings coming in. Jeffrey Adler looks to be the first Canadian man to win the CrossFit Games since 2007. 
More on Roman Krennikov in a second. Pat Belner currently sits in third, and it is likely that we could have an all-Canadian podium here on the men's competition. But things this morning went from bad to worse for Roman Krennikov. And so unfortunate for Roman Krennikov. Wearing the white leader jersey for a reason, but comes off the bag, as you just saw. Breaks his fifth metal tarsal in his left foot. And since that time, you see the ice pack on his foot, listening to the tests that were coming up, talking to the one of the best ever do it, Rich Froning, comes out here on one foot, trying to talk through an even tougher situation. Let's go down to the competition floor for the athlete intros. And rank 10, Lazar Jukic. In lane number one from Reebok CrossFit Frankston, Jay Crouch. In lane number nine, ranked eight from CrossFit Naples, Dallin Pepper. In lane number two, ranked seventh, BKG, Jorgen Carl Goodmanson. In lane number eight, rank six. Make some noise for Finland's own Janikowski. In lane number three, rank fifth. Make some noise for Chandler Smith. In lane number seven, rank fourth. Put your hands together for Brett Fukowski. And now your top three in lane number four, ranked third, Patrick Bellner. In lane number six, ranked second, Roman Krennikov. Make some noise for Jeffrey Adler! One minute. There are Jeff Adler's parents hoping to see their son crowned fittest on earth. Embracing Adler's coach and fiance, Carolyn Lambre. Here are your 10 men who will be on the floor for this final heat. Jeff Adler will be in lane number five. Keep an eye on him. Echo Thruster final. Bringing it home in the best way possible, Sean. This is the CrossFit game, so why not finish off with a little couplet? Echo by Cows and Thrusters, 21, 18, 15, and a 66 foot overhead lunge to the finish. It's time to get primal. Nothing tricky, nothing sexy, just good old fashioned hard work. And you gotta want it to win it, Sean. That's all it's gonna take. There is Jeff Adler, Pat Vellner, and Brent Fikowski. All of them have a chance to wind up on the podium. We are underway, 21 calories here on the Echo Bike. When when Calza open up, see Roman breaking his left foot earlier this morning. He's just doing everything he can to stay in the competition. Stays in the competition, not a withdrawal, so his points could still matter when you look at the overall ending of the leaderboard. But Sean, just a heartbreaking moment for someone who wore the white leader jersey for days here at the competition and in that fight with Jeff Adler for that first place position. It wasn't that long ago when we were talking about how much was he going to win this thing by? He looked absolutely unstoppable. And then the slide began last night. A couple of mistakes. Adler was able to shave 87 points off that 100-point deficit. Now Jeff Adler is your overall leader after what happened this morning. And I don't want to take away from anything that Jeff Adler has done in the last day of competition because he has been earning every single point he's gotten on the leaderboard. His performance all weekend long, the holes that he's shirt off of the last five years, to be able to take second in a 5K, fourth in an Olympic total, first in a classic CrossFit test that was Helena Friday night. Jeff Adler is the real deal.
Keep an eye on the top of the screen. The leader's name in this heat will be on the far left of our scoring hat. And the number in the white box will indicate how many repetitions that man has completed. The number in the white box next to everyone else's name will indicate how many reps they are behind the leader in the heat. Now Chandler Smith has taken a break and he's back on his rush of Brent Fikowski leading the way here along with Dallin Pepper and Yonikowski in the light blue shirts and now Jeff Adler getting to the bike for 18 calories and the weight on the barbell is going to go up to 135 pounds. And that's the biggest challenge of this test, Sean, is that the bike cows drop by three, but nothing really changes on the bike. However, on the barbell, you only drop three reps, but you add 20. We go from 115 to 135, 135 to 155. So if you're a stronger, more powerful athlete and you can handle the barbell well, going to have greater success towards the end of this test. Get your official 2023 Noble CrossFit Games gear and score a bonus gift to purchase. Scan the QR code to redeem and view terms and conditions. Time to beat Sean said in the previous heat. Sam Quant 648.70. Time out here is at the upper left corner of your screen. So all these athletes that are racing each other, we had 10 athletes take this test about 20 minutes ago. Dallin Pepper and Jake Crouch. Crouch at the top of your screen out of Australia. And Dallin Pepper are the first two men in the bar that Ben Fikowski is there. Here comes Janikowski, who won the opening test of these 2023 Noble Classic Games. Kowski in the light blue shorts. Back on Thursday, it's the third time in Kowski's career he has won the opening test of the games. The Cal team coming off a test went previously to this. That's what called to the near to the fourth place position, just a few points out of that third place spot. Broken at 72 119 score repetitions here. He's got to get to 78 before he's back to the flight. Broken 12 has six more reps. Again, 18 reps at 135 pounds. Dallin Pepper is back on the bike. He's in the lead. Jonikowski is behind him, followed by Brent Fikowski. Fifteen cows on the Echo bike in this last couplet. As Adler gets to his bike in the center part of your lane. The barbells you see there in front in all red. That is the final bar. They'll do 15 reps at 155. But then after that, Sean, 66 foot overhead walking lunge to the finish line. There's that 155 pound barbell that awaits. Final thrusters after these calories with Joe Kowski in the middle of your screen is a leader. Jeff Adler does not need to be in much of a hurry here. He has an 86 point lead over Pat Belner for first place. Belner looking to finish in second place on the podium. As Dallin Pepper has advanced to the barbell for the final time at the bottom of your screen, Joe Kowski looks to be the next man done. And Koski, if he wants a shot at winning this test, you better reel Dallin in because he's chasing down one of the bigger, stronger athletes in the field. When it comes down to an overhead walking lunge, lunge, strength in the shoulders, and length definitely matters. Jake Crouch is on the very far left side of your screen. He's on the clutches as well. Now here comes Jeffrey Adler, your overall leader, starting his set of 15 clusters at 155 pounds. The athlete has to go into a full squat, so hip crease has to be below the knee, and then they have to squat up. Press the barbell overhead. Janikowski on the right in the blue shorts, just past the 10 rep mark. Broken 12. We've seen a lot of athletes breaking 14, take a rest, do their 15th one, and go straight into the lunge. Jake Crouch is on the left. He currently sits in fourth place. Dallas Peppers on the right. He's got one more rep to go here. Pepper at one rep. Kowski looks like he has a couple. Adler, four reps to go. Now Dallin Pepper taking off down the floor on the final lunge here. 11 scored repetitions here on this track. At 6.48, top left corner of your screen. Time to beat, set by Sam Quant. Dallin Pepper, Lazar Jukic, caught up your screen. Yona Kowski, Brent Fikowski, and that man on the left, Jake Crouch, are all on the lunge. Bjorgen Carl Gumansson has finished up his thrusters. But Dallin Pepper 
trying to track down the top tie from Sam Quan and win this final test. Jeff Adler, your overall leader, is on the lunge as well. But Pepper is in, and Pepper is going to get a test win here to close out his 2023 Melbourne Crossfit Games. Jeff Adler in the middle of the floor, inching closer to his first ever title of fittest man on earth. There is a new king in the north. His name is Jeff Adler, and he is the fittest man on earth. Man alive, Jeff Adler! Jeff, back in 2017, you were at the CrossFit Games as a volunteer on the event team. Six years later, you're the CrossFit Games champion. So what would 2017 Jeff's reaction be to this moment? Keep pushing barbells, man. <laughs> Why not? It's still, it's still unreal. It feels uh, very weird. We've been working hard, and uh, it pays off. 
And I'm just going to take some time with, uh, with my people that are here with me and try to soak it in tonight. Well, speaking of working hard, I know it's not just you that puts in a lot of hard work. Your fiance, your coach, Carolyn Lambre, who was also a volunteer here in 2017. What has her support, her coaching, her partnership meant to you for this moment? That's why I'm here. There's absolutely no other reason. She's the one that found me, trusted that we could work hard through the years and make it. And uh, her dream got true today. And I'm so happy for her. She worked as hard as me. Um, I know you're a proud Canadian. We have the flag right here. Let's open it up. You're the first champion, international champion of the CrossFit Games since 2009, the first Canadian champion since 2007. What does that mean to you? That means a lot. Uh, change is good. Uh, we're we're going to try to keep these colors up uh, on the leaderboard. I know I'm not alone on the, on the podium tonight uh, with this flag, so we'll enjoy it together for sure. My last question to you. For the last two years, you've told me your secret to recovery is the coos, the hot tub. And you didn't have a hot tub at the hotel all week long. So what is the new secret to recovery that creates a CrossFit Games champion? Well, there was no hot, so we had to go cold, cold plunge all, uh, after every event. So we, we, chilled, uh, we chilled in the, the ice baths. The true North strong and fit. Congratulations, Jeff Adler. Thank you. Thank you. Jeff Adler, first time in his career, first international champion since 2009, as you heard Mike Arsenal say. And what a week for this man. And it really started in earnest for him on the weekend where he started to make that charge. Look, like it, wasn't, it wasn't an easy way to the top, and he earned every single point he got all weekend long. Second in a 5K, fourth in a total lift, consistency, Finishing first in Helena, and just his climb to the top, not just today, Sean, but like they were talking about 2017. I knew Jeff when he was a volunteer at the CrossFit Games. I knew Caroline, who was a volunteer at the, the booth with us. Games, in the booth yeah. with us. I have grown to watch these two grow over the last seven years, and I couldn't be happier for Jeff Adler. Another Canadian will be on the podium along with him, and that is Jeff Adler, or pardon me, that is Pat Vellner, and Vellner is with Mike Arsenal. Pat, the red and white has never looked so good. A tremendous performance. The first time you appeared on the podium at the CrossFit Games was back in 2016, seven years ago. How does this moment compare to that one? That's pretty cool, right? It's a long ways to go. Um, they all feel great, you know, it's a, huge, it's a huge commitment in terms of time and effort to try to get back here every year, so the Sharks are circling all the time, it's never, it only gets harder, nothing's taken for granted, so it's very cool, and I think, like you said, red, white, and, uh, the red and white looks really good on Jeff right now, so that's the only time it's looked better than right here. You mentioned the time, the commitment, that increases as responsibilities increase as you get into your 30s. How does this compare now that you're a father? being on the podium? It's tough, right? That comes with a lot of sacrifice from the part of my family and, you know, everybody takes more than their share sometimes in order to make things like this happen. So, you know, in a way this makes it feel really worth it, but every year we have to go back to the drawing board and decide, you know, what level of commitment is appropriate for now and where we're moving in our lives. So I think every time I get these opportunities now, I definitely don't want to take them for granted and they're all very, very special. Well, I think it's fair to say that both you and Jeff showed off your A games here this weekend. Pat, congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Attaway, Mike. In case you're wondering, Attaway, Mike Arsenal, Mike. also Canadian. Yeah, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Adler, the fittest man on earth. Pat Velmer's going to join him on the podium. I'm still trying to figure out who's in third. Like, what the clinic have? May wind up in third place. We will see when we get back. Stay with us as our coverage continues here in Madison, Wisconsin of the 2023 Noble CrossFit Games.
Welcome back to Finding the Fittest here at the 2023 Noble CrossFit Games as we have crowned the fittest man and woman on earth. Let's take a look at our Rogue Don't Weaken moment of the day. And it started with Roman Krennikov breaking his foot earlier today. Comes off the bag, breaks his foot, was sitting in first place overall. It came down to whether he would stay in the competition. It was up to him. He wanted to stay. The medical team cleared him to stay. He made the choice to stay, and he came out here and fought for two straight tests. He said at the end of this test, I want to be a hero for my son and have him see me fight to the end. And he did just that. Roman Krennikov is with Mike Arson. Roman, the fight that you showed in the final two tests of the CrossFit Games competition is almost unparalleled to what this sport has ever seen before. What does it mean that you were able to stay on the podium and compete in front of this crowd? В принципе, ощущения такие сначала были не очень, чувствовал себя немного некомфортно, немножко стыдно как бы выполнять такую работу перед людьми, что еле-еле там выполняю двойные прыжки или кручу байк. Ну, я сказал себе, что я не должен сдаваться, я упорно работал предыдущие три дня, и это как бы дало свои плоды, я остался на подиуме. То есть эти проделанная работа в течение трех дней не осталась без внимания. И спасибо всем, кто поддерживает меня, кто переживает. Я вернусь в следующем году сильнее. He felt a little bit bad for the last two events, just sitting there and showing not the best that he is. Um, but he worked really hard in the past three days, and that helped him to stand in the podium. And he wants to thank every and each one of you here 
for your support and this means the world to him and he promises to you all he's gonna come back next year and he's going to be at the top thank you Roman Prenikov, congratulations. Podium performance two years in a row. Yeah. Twice, two years in a row on the podium. <laughs> yeah. Here are your final standings as Brent Fikowski did not do enough wow. in that final test to pass Roman Krennikov. That's how big of a cushion Krennikov had built over the first nine tests. Fikowski took 13th in that test and was not able to erase the deficit. So Roman Krennikov will wind up on the podium. Laura Horvath is your fittest woman on earth, followed by Emma Lawson and Ariel Lowen. We'll have more from Madison when we return. <laughs>